conversation about cloud and on-prem and operating in both, why has there been a struggle to create a consistent security policy across both domains? Cloud first should mean cloud first, but for a lot of them, the view has been very siloed and focusing cloud only. Unless you lead with the management, as your approach for unification and bringing things together, you're actually putting together disparate components and those things just don't come together in a cohesive fashion. It becomes very difficult, right, to um, you know, come out with some uniformity, right, or consistency. And uh, you know, I think that's one of Juniper's strengths. You guys have been around for a long time. People know who you are. Yeah, and it's, it's actually part of our DNA. We are actually the only one that has a common operating system, right, through our, our ecosystem. Really, it's in today's environment, it's proven to be a huge, huge strength. Let me ask you, what difficulties you had to deploy it yourself? This was one of the most sim seamless deployments. And is it because of what Rene just said? It's like, well, it's in our architecture already. We wanted it to be seamless for the customers so that it's almost like a single switch, right? You go from what you have, extend to the cloud-led management platform, but in a very seamless way. Honestly, tell me, when you've had some, I'm assuming beta customers test this out and try it up, what were the hiccups they had? and how did they manage that? You know, customers are not going to flip a switch overnight and automatically everything's going to be cloud delivered, you know? They're going to have to move and they're going to be very methodical. I mean, that's that's a security way and, and rightfully so. And so now you're hearing the term, you know, by some of the analysts, the uh, hybrid mesh security, right? Again, that's what the it says it's defining, right? Is that, hey, I'm going to have still some data center, what I call data center centric, right? Uh, deployments. And I want to transition some of those to the cloud, but again, I'm taking a very conservative and stepped phase in manner. And so how can we, help to make it more easy. Who's a prime candidate for you? Our core philosophy is meeting the customer where they are okay. and taking them where they want to go. It's the same platform that serves you on-prem all the way to the cloud. So I would say we are well set up to cover a wide range of customers no matter where they are. Oh my God, you're the perfect customer for us. Come right now because we can seriously, seriously help you. Who is that person? You yeah, know, I, I would say definitely data centers, right, and and uh, uh, enterprise, right, uh, customers for sure. And to be honest, you know, I normally try to do at least an annual survey. And yeah, I could have showed you very easily, you know, a 40, 60 split, you know, a year ago, two years ago of, yeah, we're, we don't think we're going to go to cloud in the next five years. But now, today, when, when I ask those questions, I mean, it's like a 70, 30, 80, 20 split. It's never going to be 100%. Hybrid security even becomes more emphasis on it. It'll become the norm. What are the elements you're offering in this solution that enable an organization to move towards a zero trust architecture? I think you called out the key phrase, it's an architecture, it's not just a product. So you've got different defense in depth level items within this solution, exactly. right? Exactly, it is going through those different gates for the different applications for the user based on what context they're coming from. And all of this is again unified, deeply integrated with the zero trust offering. I'm impressed that you're offering up this solution, so would love to check back with you guys to see how this works out in terms of, you know, as it's rolling out to more and more customers and potentially new customers for you as well. Thank you so much for your time, Renee and Madura.